What is up guys? It's been a minute since I've sat down and recorded a video. Um, to be completely honest with you, I've been pretty busy the past couple weeks. It's finally the New Year's 2019. Um, there's a lot of things that I've planned, things that I wish to happen for this year. So I've been doing a lot of work to, you know, attain those goals. And these things take time. So because of this, you know, I've been pretty busy, but even though it's work, even though, you know, I'm either at home or outside finishing my work, for the first time in my life, I actually feel very productive. You know, even though I'm not working at a company and getting salary and, you know, networking in those traditional sense, it's a very interesting feeling. I just feel like I'm being very productive and that the things that I'm doing, like I am genuinely interested in in learning more about it, which is which I think is very good. It's the first time I've actually felt like that in my life, uh, very interestingly. So even though in my channel, I post a variety of videos on you know, different topics such as business, um, you know, investing, uh, passive income, you know, consistency. I realized that one of the most popular uh, topics that a lot of my viewers watch, it's not even a lot, like 40 subscribers. Anyways, a lot of um, the most views I have on a video is related to community college and just education and how to transfer properly. And I was actually very surprised because I've been getting, you know, private messages, whether on YouTube or Facebook or even Instagram DMs. People are actually sliding, sliding into my DMs, um, but mostly males, interestingly. I don't even know why I included that. But when I see these, uh, these individuals that I don't even know asking for help and saying that, you know, my videos were very educational, it just gave me a lot more inspiration and motivation to create more content like this because you know i didn't know that people would be actually watching this kind of stuff so anyways in this video i'm going to specifically talk about the three biggest differences that i've personally experienced from a community college to a 25 a top 25 university in america so three big differences that I felt once I transferred from a community college to USC. So the first big thing that I realized um, in terms of the difference between uh, my community college and USC was just the class level and the difficulty of the courses that you take. You know, like I've mentioned in my community college video, um, I tell you guys that the curriculum, the tests is very simple. You know, if you just do the studying, you just read the work, um, and you, you know practice the exams a little bit or the questions beforehand before the test Chances of you getting an A is extremely high because community college. It's very straightforward You know teacher gives you a study guide you study it and you'll probably get a 90% plus very true however, my first impression with USC or you know a top 25 university is that the curriculum is actually pretty hard. The first test um, that I took at USC, I studied the same way that I would study ha that that I would have studied in community college. You know, maybe two, three hours of studying. Um, you know, a couple breaks here and there. And to be honest, that's the most amount of time that I spent. You know, studying for community college. And when I put those two to three hours for studying, I typically got an A. So I took the same approach and I used it at USC for my first final exam or my first midterm I should say um, and the result was not good in fact I, the first midterm exam I got at USC my grade was a D a D it wasn't even a D plus it was, a D, it was like a 64 um, and that was like a it was like a shock to me I was like whoa like Damn, like I actually studied, you know, I put in the work, I went to all the classes, I mean, not all the classes, but you know, I was taking notes, I was being studious, and despite me studying this much, or two to three hours, I was like, damn, like, I can understand why, you know, people consider this as a, you know, prestigious university, you know, compared to a community college. So the difficulty is very true. Um, it is much more difficult. It's much more harder for you to get a good grade at a top tier college. And it makes sense because the competition is better. People are more smarter. You gotta raise the standard. This isn't community college, you know? 
So the second biggest difference that I've seen from a community college and um, USC for me personally, but it can be any other college, it's just the individuals that you meet, the specific people that you meet. Um, my case may be different from people, you know, going to different colleges, maybe Berkeley or, you know, NYU or whatever. But in LA specifically, there were a lot of um, just very influential people that I've met. Um, and by influential, I don't mean like, oh, like, you know, this kid's a billionaire or, you know, this kid's a millionaire or, oh, this kid's an actor, even though there are people like that. But what I mean is that, you know, you meet a lot of people from different backgrounds in different industries that you have never been exposed to. For me, I'm from the Bay Area, you know, Silicon Valley, a lot of software engineers here you know, for parents and a lot of students my age, um, they strive to go to, you know, the field of technology, you know, the tech arena, um, because all the tech companies are in the Bay Area, you know, in Silicon Valley. So because of this mindset, I only thought that this was um, the only option for me. But when I went to USC, when I went to LA, I noticed that, like, dude, people aren't just engineers here, you know, people here are you know, movie directors, people here, you know, work in trading industry, you know, the importing, exporting industry, you know, international trade, you know, some people work for production, some people work for music industry, some people work, you know, for art, you know, they design for, you know, art studios in LA or New York or Chicago. And when I saw all these different types of individuals in all these different fields, that's when I realized like, damn, dude, like I was living in a bubble, you know, I'm from the suburbs, um, very nice suburbs, you know, and the place is nice, it's a good environment, it's safe, but you don't really get to experience those kind of things because you're just trapped in your own little world. You're not really exposed to the outside world. So, you know, the first time I transferred to LA and USC and I saw all these people and I saw all these opportunities and I saw all these different things that I've never seen before in my life, that's when I was like, damn dude like yo i'm trying to get this like fuck fuck this uh engineer shit dude i'm trying to you know make seven eight figures because i've seen that with my own eyes that was the biggest thing that i've realized at usc or at a you know a top 25 university it's just the new insights and the new experiences and opportunities that you get to witness that you will never get to witness at a community college hell no so my third um, biggest difference kind of ties in with the second difference that I told you about um, and it's that because I've seen you know so many influential individuals whether it's kids my age or my professors or you know adults or you know different people in different industries that's when I started to realize like damn dude like you know I should not limit myself to only you know sticking with the script sticking to what I know you know, there's so many different fields, there's so many different industries, and there's so many different things that you can do where the potential is just so great, you know? But I would have never realized that if I didn't take the step forward, if I didn't take that leap of faith forward and, you know, study two years at a community college, you know, sacrifice my two years in order to get a better reward, which was, you know, USC for me personally. Um, delayed gratification, like I've mentioned in my previous video, but that was, in to, in my opinion, the most life-changing um, thing that's happened. You know, it's just being able to go to a different environment, go to the city life, go to LA, even though it's a little bit more expensive, um, there's a lot more different types of people. That can be good or bad, but I took that as a great um, advantage and as a positive and I realized like, damn, dude, like I can do a lot more with, you know, what I have with, with my life. And that's what I've seen. That's what I personally realized, you know, as a transfer student from community college to USC. But it can be for any college, to be honest. Um, it's just, you just have to go to a different environment, a different atmosphere where you can experience um, different things than you are experiencing right now. So I hope you guys found this video to be somewhat insightful. Um, I know it wasn't really specific as, you know, how to transfer, you gotta do this, 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 that. But, you know, I just kinda wanted to, 
diversify my my video styles and this one is a little bit more casual just talking about my experience um, as a transfer student and the only thing that I can say is that even though the beginning was quite difficult in terms of you know the transferring process and studying once you get there that's when things start to change and that's when things start to formulate in your head like damn hey there's a lot more stuff out there can't be stuck in this bubble and I feel like that's the mentality that everyone should develop.